Welcome back to Vault Hunters 118. In this episode, we have got a bunch of trinkets and crates and other such things to roll because boy, have I been running vault stuff camera. I just had the itch. You know, I just had the desire and we've come away with all this. We have the two trinkets that I'm making you guys. Well, I made you guys wait until this episode and uh, 10 crates. Yes, I was a good bounty boy. And I even ran some completions, lots of all gear, three really good inscriptions and in the system i focused on the wooden chest so you can see two thousand raw carbon as well as a da -da -da, hundred and one catalyst fragments so hopefully we roll some uh, living catalyst to add to our super living architect vault well we sure have a lot to do today so let's start with the crates oh i'm rolling something uh whoa that is a lot of stuff <laughs> Whoa! Okay, all right, immediately an epic uh, chest. I wonder if that was epic plus or not. Oh, we got an augment. We got a wasteland cave augment. Ooh, unidentified epic. Okay, hold on. I gotta sort this stuff. Okay, so this is what we're looking at with the gear. There's a, there was a bunch of money and, and vault diamonds and other random, you know, chromatic steel and stuff. Uh, but we got all these jewels that I have to go through. Ooh, that's a really good copiously jewel. Uh, as well as all this vault gear. So let me, uh... Listen to Valkyrie rolling noises for a few minutes. Oh man, we're already getting some cool transmogs. Well, I mean, okay, I can't imagine that goat, goat chest plate is going to be a cool transmog, but I did see that we just got an epic of something that wasn't epic plus, so that is always nice. Wizard hat! Hey, we finally found it! Okay, so we got these rare boots, which uh, are pretty good. I mean, they have the same amount of armor. I don't really need to re-roll the bard boots I've got, but these are obviously excellent backups considering they've got really good stats. Uh, we got some backup leggings, um, but I mean, the Omega leggings are probably going to hold their own for a little while because of the knockback resist and the item quantity. And then we've got some more uh, backup boots, which I mean, maybe I'll roll these ones since they have three prefixes and that could be pretty good. Yeah, I'll roll them a little bit. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, eight armor, nine health, eight resistance. I'm um, pretty sure that very much beats out these guys. Now, that mana regen, I would really, really, really like to be high. I had it like 50% and we are in dire straits on our mana regen, but I am terrified. I am terrified of destroying um, the really good armor, health, or resistance. So I'm going to just reroll all suffixes and see what we get. Yes, yes, that's amazing. Oh my gosh, that's so lucky. All right, what suffixes can we guarantee here? We can guarantee some item quantity, cool, some item rarity, mm, let me see. Well, I'm not gonna lie, nine to 10% item quantity. I think I'm gonna go with it, I'm feeling kind of greedy. All right, well, these boots are just, all right. This is gonna be a really, ooh, and a 10, a mid-roll, very nice. Yeah, this is a good start to the episode. These boots are phenomenal they don't have as much armor they have like a tiny teensy bit of one armor less they have a th almost a thousand more durability 46 percent mana region is huge eight percent resistance and health I, I mean they're just these are phenomenal boots awesome oh and i forgot to look at the chest plate huh hmm i'm gonna roll this too but i've kept you guys waiting long enough on the trinkets i'm not gonna make you wait uh let's see i'm i'm very excited let's get some good stuff here yes yes chromatic powder oh 25 uses our valkyr is pretty much invincible for 25 volts now <laughs> that is phenomenal what is glue wall climbing what do i just oh oh god i hate that no, I don't want that. I don't want that at all. That's horrible. I, I use my water bucket. Mm, get out of here. Will you turn into trinket scrap? Oh, it will. Okay. This is our third trinket scrap, I think. Maybe a second trinket scrap. Okay. I haven't bought that many. Okay. Well, that'll allow us to craft a better trinket once we, of course, have 128 volt alloy, which I'm working on. I'm working on it. But I'm going to roll this chest piece. Block chance? You can roll block chance on a chest plate? I did not know that. That's kind of cool, actually. Okay, so the question here is, 
do I use uh, one of these focuses again to get the increased damage away from tier one? By the way, I blew through so much. I just bam, 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 bam. I'm loving this, right? I like the durability. This is invincible. I like the mana regen. That's great. I like the health. I just don't like 6% increased damage. I mean, maybe I'll just, I'll just take it. I'll just take it. And then I think we can guarantee some knockback resist on it, uh, which I really want to keep up, up and away. Yeah, up to 20% knockback resist. Not the, can't guarantee the tier that the other one has, but I think it becomes a better chest plate. Yeah, definitely. There we go, and it was 18. That's a high roll. Very nice. Very nice. So with that, we got new boots and a new chest plate. Ooh. Golden Royale and Lion Guard. I Lion. Lion Guard. I wonder if we have any other gold stuff. Hmm. Yeah. I think with a little bit of runes, we could be looking pretty sharp. Oh, and the shield too. Actually, I think I kinda like it with the glint on. Ooh, I am like the golden king. I like this look a lot. Alrighty, next up on the to-do list, you know what it is. It's Catalyst time. Ooh, 11 of them. I think I've got some, yeah, mystical essences is laying about. Essences? Essences? It should be essences. I think I think it'd be really fun, but like, if everyone in the English language had to just say essences. Oh, yes, living. Perfect. And hey, while I'm just getting some Catalyst set up, uh, I'd really appreciate it if you'd consider subscribing if you're enjoying the episode. It really means a lot to me, so... Thank you if you do. Well, unfortunately, we only got one living, but we did get another plentiful. We got an extended. We got two wooden. We got two gilded. And we got four wealthies. So maybe a coin vault in our future. No reason not to slap our living guy on. No! Ah! Unmodifiable at 53%. <sighs> Five times living. Ah, it's so unlucky. I've been so unlucky with these. Well, I guess I know what we're doing today. If we're going to do a super vault for, uh, what do you call it, living chests, because uh, specifically, I want knowledge essence. We're going to want more item quantity rather than rarity, right? This guy would give us rarity, but this guy gives us quantity. So we need a stack of vault diamonds. We have that. 16 vault gold. Easy. 196 alexandrite gem. Simple. One trinket scrap. We got that. It's the vault alloy that I'm nervous about. However, I have been trading in the black market for 74, and that means we need only a few more of uh, Vault Alloy? Oh, only 54, and we already have the Chromatic Steel. How, how much, I, I should turn this into refined carbon. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Three and a half stacks of refined carbon to get that trinket, and we had enough. <laughs> Well, I suppose there's no harm in being prepared. Uh, I might as well just use the vault ingots, right? Yeah. Let's get this stuff crafted up. I'm excited. This is going to be our first trinket that we craft. Gonna need to fortune up some Alexandrite, but I'm pretty sure... Oh my gosh, a stack and a half? Actually, that's almost everything we need. And I know that we had a few Alexandrite gems floating around here. Perfect. Beautiful. I believe that is the sugar, spice, and everything nice for a Tenosis pouch. 25% item quantity. Now, that does unfortunately replace our chromatic powder. How much do we have for this? 14 uses. That's not a lot of uses. Uh, so, we do have to decide between whether we want Invincible Vault Gear or um, Tenos pouch. Although, truly, the decision is nearly Invincible Vault Gear, considering that we have 21% reduction to damage on top of the stuff, so it's nearly Invincible rather than fully Invincible. <sighs> Why must you exhaust it five times? I know it's possible to get more. I know it is. Well, no use crying over spilled milk. Let's get our loot molar a little spiffier because it kind of needs to be and uh, get prepped for a vault. You know what? I've got this magnet here with item rarity on it but i don't really want to use it uh at least not for this vault because we obviously want quantity so i'm curious what faceted focuses do we have do we have quantity focuses we do um so could i just throw this faceted focus onto the magnet and guarantee a very high roll of item quantity and then we can just bring it in right sure nine extra percent i'm I'm not going to complain about that. So what is our item quantity at now? It is at 55%. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. I hope we're going to find a lot of knowledge essence in this. Uh, 
Well, nothing else to do but run it. Let's cross our fingers for at least decent modifiers. Five times living. Ah, trapped. One time shortened. Only one wild, though, so that's not too bad. Trapped is really unfortunate. Um, but I'm pretty sure everything else is fine. The wild will be dealt with immediately. And oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at all the chests. Oh, I do love doing these runs. And the mushroom is my absolute favorite room in the entire game. So, oh my gosh, that... That took a while to break, didn't it? That is a good sign. Am I not wearing a magnet? Oh, the magnet's horrible. Hmm. Okay, so everything is gonna fall down there. What what just happened? Did did my screen do something weird there? Or am I going insane? I'm probably just going insane. No, I'm not! My screen tilted. What is happening? Why is my screen tilting? Weird. That is blech. that is nauseating. All right, well, I should probably go down there to get all the loot that I just dropped onto the floor, but... But there's so... <gasps> you can get inscription pieces in an inscription vault? Oh! I thought it would be, like, catalysts where you couldn't. Interesting. So, there's a good possibility that all the inscription pieces we invested into this, we will get back. That is excellent! I like that feature. It should be the same thing with wooden. Like, wooden, you should be able to get more catalysts. I feel like, at least. Oh my gosh. It's everywhere. This is amazing. Well, while I am just obliterating these living chests and getting so much loot, I wanted to clear something up. Uh, I posted a poll recently on the community tab, and if you haven't checked it out, you should. Why is it all gray down here? It feels like a weird color. Um, but if you haven't checked it out, you definitely should. Uh, because the poll is uh, for what is the next pack that you would like me to play and i want to clarify that does not mean i'm ending vault hunters i'm not ending vault hunters probably for a while i mean there's going to be a lot more content uh, a lot more interesting things to do in the game i have no intention of stopping anytime soon uh, i do however have an intention to run a series alongside vault hunters to diversify and grow the channel uh, beyond just one mod pack um, I like playing mod packs i'm sure you guys like playing mod packs and i'd love to introduce you guys to some new stuff if possible so, uh, you know, when you're voting on that, don't worry, you're not voting for, like, the killer of Vault Hunters. This is not stopping. The daily uploads will not be stopping. Um, just trying to get a gauge for what you guys want. Oh, and what I want, I want to listen to more of these noises. Oh my gosh, it's lovely. Uh, I might turn on hitboxes, actually. Just Actually, I'm going to turn on hitboxes because I'm a little nervous. Yeah, see? There's an item on the ground. I would have missed it. I don't want to miss anything. I mean... Look, in this vault, an item stack could be anything from, like, one poisonous mushroom to, like, a full stack of knowledge essence at this point. In this case, it seems to have been two brown mushrooms. Yeah, a two on the velocity is pretty bad, but, hey, it's 8% item quantity. It's important. Whoa. Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to open that chest like that, but it was completely full. Oh, 55% item quantity. You are a dream. Not gonna lie, having a velocity of two on your magnet is kind of like not having a magnet at all. I mean, I guess it would work better if I opened it up and like tossed it out like I used to do, but I don't want to do that. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that. Like how the hitbox shrinks. Cool. Oh boy. Hopefully there's no trap here because this could be really good. Oh yes, there wasn't. That was lovely. If this is five times, man, what would it have been like if we weren't so unlucky and we could have done like ten times or something like that? Eh, well, you know. Keep seeing stuff on like the CWG SMP where they're getting like 15 living or or 12 gilded and how? They get all the way to like 100% instability. I'm here at 53% instability and Vault Hunters is like, nah, you're done. I'm so glad they updated the mushroom as well. I mean, even if it was just a visual update, it would still be one of the best updates to an Omega Room. But just the way they changed it, it's so fun to hop around. You, you really feel like you're like adventuring in a wilderness, you know, looking for the for the magical mushrooms. Maybe not magic mushrooms, but the the the, the supernatural mushrooms that have all the living chests and stuff. I don't know. I just I have such fun in this room. Also, I saw a living chest down there. I know I did. You. Well, I think that's just about it. That was a ridiculous amount of chests. I mean, look, I, I suppose I complain about it only being five times, but that that was probably a lot. That was probably a lot. All right, 
I'm really curious to see how many we looted. How much loot we actually got out of it? 80. That is less than I thought it would be. 80? Really? Hmm. Man. I mean, six of them are trapped, so it could it could have been better, I guess. But I, I feel like maybe they didn't go so well. Hmm. 206 knowledge. <laughs> yeah, that, that didn't go so well. And I invested... Well, 32 inscription pieces to make the inscription and got 14 bit. All right. Look, it's not that it wasn't worth it to do it. Okay, 216 knowledge is quite good. It's just, it, we got so unlucky with the catalysts. No. I've had such horrible luck with those. Oh, and we got a 2% instability with 1 minute and 9% completion and a 2% instability with 7%. All right, all right. So it, it, didn't, it didn't go quite according to plan, but that's all right. Look, 216 knowledge essence in 10 minutes is still a lot, still a ton. And uh, I've actually been hiding how much knowledge we have because I have been grinding it quite a bit. Look at that, 273 shards. Yeah, 24 more to the pile. But I don't know that it's actually even enough to do what I want to do, which is really horrible. This stuff takes forever. Oh, we're so close. We're so close to what I want. Well, nothing that maybe a vault run could fix. I mean, we just got to respec our hunter into lucky living and uh, cross our fingers. Ooh, should I go for a hunt the guardians for a black chromatic steel or a elixir vault for rare boots and some Laramar? I think I'm going to go for the black chromatic steel one to start with. So maybe it'll be hunt the guardians and maybe it'll be easy. Alrighty, let's see what we get. Elixir. Oh, I should have gone with the elixir one. Trapped again! No! I hate that! Why have we been rolling trapped so frequently? That sucks so bad. Alright, well, it's fine. We got some trapped as arm. Plenty of item quantity will make up for the trapped ones. Well, and I'm just going to be focusing down living chests. I'm not here to loot anything else. Aha! Living chests. So this room I will be looting. Rooting and tooting. Oh wait, can we select the bottom of that POI? I think that might be part of it. That's kind of fun. Oh, Rocky Roller. Okay, so these Rocky Rollers I've encountered quite a bit in the many vaults that I've done. Oh, man. They are so terrifically annoying. We have nearly 100% knockback resist. Okay, nearly 100%. And uh, they completely ignore that. It is so frustrating to fight them. Also, it doesn't seem like wooden chests are worth a lot of elixir. I sure would like to get a completion. I mean, in addition to a bunch of living chests, because completions are amazing. How much are worth li li the living chests worth? <gasps> Lucky us! Living chests are worth everything! Oh, I'm like reflexively looting the, the wooden chest. No, 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 we're here for living chests. It's like a force of habit. I just did like eight vaults where pretty much all I looted was the wooden chests. And those elixir ones I got really lucky in because the wooden chests were worth a massive amount. So, definitely why we had so much carbon. 2,000 carbon. Not easy to come across. Yes, I, I gotta stop looting chests I don't need to. All right, let's see how much ores are worth. Uh, not too much. All right, unfortunate. It is plentiful, but since it's not really for the completion and not living chests, I don't think I'll go for them. Oh, hey, a dungeon. All time's sake, is there a little altar in here? Uh, doesn't look like it. All right. I say all time's sake like this wasn't three days ago or something. There's another dungeon in this room. All right, I'll tank. I'll tank. Go with some dungeons. It's not like we're getting any living chests. Like this is like room number three or four with no living chests. So maybe the vault wants to give me an enhancement. I have a backup helmet in a pouch, uh, just in case we find a proper enhancement. So we'll see. Oh great, that was all right. This is this is going swimmingly, and there's not an enhancement table. Why would I do this? Maybe our nades are worth a lot. No, but I did like that noise, so I'm gonna chase that high again. Yeah, okay, nothing. I'm not gonna lie, I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm really bummed out about how the uh, how the knowledge hunt went. I probably could have gotten 216 knowledge if I just ran a regular vault with five times living on it. And I think I'm gonna skip those because I feel like those are in an annoying corner. I don't want to go to the annoying corner. 
Do you guys normally find that like your crystals crap out after five catalysts if you have inscriptions on them? Or have I just been like really unlucky? Because I keep seeing all over the place, like on the Vault Hunters Discord or um or in YouTube videos, like people getting these insane inscription catalyst vaults, right? And then I'm here like mine exhausted at 50% instability. <laughs> oh boy. Oh man, these make for the worst viewing experience too. The the shaking is horrible. Why was there two of them? Why can two of these nightmares spawn? Get out of here. Okay, well, now I get to deal with that for the rest of this room. <laughs> I hate those things. Definitely feeling the additional mana regen from the new gear, and I am liking it. I am liking it a lot. Even so, I had to heal a lot there, so I think I'm gonna switch to the mana regen idle, but look how quick our stuff is going up. Oh, a lodestone. A lodestone. So if we ever start finding gilded or gilded living chests, we'll get to touch it. Uh, but so far, it has been sparse on the living front. Oh, X mark room. You guys actually know the rule. The rule. The rule. Even though it's not living, nor technically does it count towards the completion, you always have to do X mark rooms. We are rewarded. Ooh, nice. Yeah, these are not worth a lot of elixir, but. They're worth a lot of happiness in my heart, so that's something. All right, back to the knowledge essence grind. Of course, of course it's a gilded. <laughs> oh, really? No, I was so excited when I saw the concrete powder. I was like, oh my gosh, our vault is saved. Nope, nope, it's a gilded village room, not a living village room. Uh, well, this room's got a lot of gilded, uh, gilded. Oh my gosh, living chests in it. Why is my mind stuck on gilded chests? Uh-oh. I got stuck in here because you cannot uh, place blocks on spawners. Right. Let me out. Oh, no! No! Did anything break? <sighs> okay. Nothing broke. <sighs> Well, I suppose I wasn't completing that one anyways. Ugh, how much did we get? 105. Oh no, <laughs> wait. How many did we loot? 111 chests. 52 living. So if we'd had 125% living, we would have looted... Way more than the inscription run. 